Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States until our country's representatives can figure out what the hell is going on? Breaking this hour, Donald Trump out on a media blitz in an attempt to defend his controversial comments about Muslims whom he says should be barred from entering our country right now. We're at war. We are now at war. We have a president that doesn't want to say that. We're looking at a president who's engaged in this doublespeak where he doesn't call radical Islamic terrorism by its name. When Republican candidates like Ted Cruz call for treating American Muslims like criminals and for racially profiling predominantly Muslim neighborhoods, it's wrong, it's counterproductive, it's dangerous. Yeah, okay, okay. We'll build the wall, but who's going to pay for the wall? Who? Absolutely right. I declare, uh, I'm not going to pay for that fucking wall. He should pay for it. He's got the money. If I'm elected president, we will secure the border. We will triple the border patrol. We will build a wall that works, and I'll get Donald Trump to pay for it. <laughs> I'll build it. Why in God's name does Wall Street make huge campaign contributions? I guess just for the fun of it. They want to throw money around. Why does the pharmaceutical industry make huge campaign contributions? Any connection, maybe, to the fact that our people pay the highest prices in the world for prescription drugs? You said recently, quote, when you give, they do whatever the hell you want them to do. You better believe it. I will tell you that our system is broken. I give to many people. Before this, before two months ago, I was a businessman. I give to everybody. When they call, I give. And you know what? When I need something from them, two years later, three years later, I call them. They are there for me. So and that's get? a broken system. So He's always calling me Little Marco. And I'll admit, the guy, he's taller than me, he's like 6'2", which is why I don't understand why his hands are the size of someone who's 5'2". Have you seen his hands? He hit my hands. Nobody has ever hit my hands. I've never heard of this one. Look at those hands. Are they small hands? <laughs> and he referred to my hands. If they're small, something else must be small. I guarantee you there's no problem. I guarantee you. Do you realize that you're probably the first person in American history, maybe even world history, to make a joke about your, you know what, on a debate stage? No, I only made a joke about my hands. I have very powerful hands. 